Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. Please like, subscribe, share, comment if you'd like. It all is going to help us um, grow our channel. Thank you again. Yo, good morning everybody. <clears throat> got a couple million projects we got going on. Um, we are going to uh, actually set some posts in the, the ground to continue the rest of our um, seven peaks, six rail fencing. So today that should be all cured up. I uh, we'll put some concrete in there, 80 pound bag for each post. That should be all cured up and uh, uh, I should be able to hopefully, for 20 foot panels, get my tractor, uh, drag it somehow. Um, it's kind of a narrow area, but um, it might take a little bit of muscle to get it in there. It's just going to be me doing it. Once I get it set up against the posts, um, I should be able to use a tractor to actually lift it and hold it in place while I'll get some um, screws, some set screws on it um, and a level. That will finish off that. Um, it's about 61 feet that I'm hanging. And then at the end, I'll just make a cut with the sawzall and get it cut down. We hung a gate. Uh, we have a gate to hang also for that. It's going to be included on that. And that's going to eliminate our uh, our horse panel, our uh, round pen panels that we were using for a fence, um, which are held in the ground with to the ground with T posts. So we'll be able to pull those out, move those over, stack them somewhere, and we'll probably use them to um, <clears throat> either build some sorting stalls or a sorting area or an alleyway or something like that. Um, not the best choice for goats because especially small goats, goats can, uh, the small goats can fit right through the rails. So the only way to really stop that from happening is to uh, get some um, hog panel or some cattle panels and somehow fix it to the round pen panels, which zip ties or weld it. And uh, I'd rather zip tie it just because of the fact that uh, or wire it, you can wire it. Because they're all co uh, powder coated and you'd have to um, grind it down to get a nice clean. That's what I'm talking about right here. I'm gonna get these, we got these posts set. They are ready. These panels are gonna be taken down once I get this fence hung. Boom, got another one. I'm gonna hang it on the outside so we don't have to worry about taking this fence down until taking these panels down until uh, we hang the fence. Another one, another one, another one. And we got this gate right here that we're gonna have to look for the hardware that we're gonna bolt into this. Hopefully I can find the bit for that. And then uh We'll hang it there and it'll actually just chain up to this galvanized fence post. It's been here forever. It's a 10 foot gate. I'll be able to drive my tractor through there. And from this post, when we're actually going to build off of this one to finish our yard fence, our house fence. Yeah, there it is. We're going to get that hung right now. And uh, we need to get at least three panels drug over here. I need to get these panels moved. These are very heavy, 16 foot heavy duty. I don't know if I'll be able to do it myself. So this part right here is what you're going to see wears me out. It's the uh, dragon of these panels. Um, these ones right here are 16 foot long. I got these from a stable or not a stable, but like a place where they do uh, rodeo or auctions. They um, sold it. So I bought all their panels. They're really heavy duty. Um, 
very heavy that's why I'm using the tractor to drag them out these 16 foot panels are actually heavier than the 20 foot panels that I'm going to put up but the 20 foot panels are longer so they're harder to maneuver and uh, <clears throat> later on in the video you're going to hear me huffing and puffing one is because I'm slightly out of shape and two because these um, dragging these panels from one side of the property to the other just kind of takes a toll they're working a bunch of I'm walking them backwards and just working some muscles I normally don't use so that's why you're gonna hear me huffing and puffing and then uh, at the end of the video I, you can see where I take I take a break <clears throat> you know be, I'll upload another video when it uh, when I get to the gate I actually finish this fence out I just need to hang a hang the gate now and uh, I will post another video when I do that but this video is just dedicated to um, this portion of the uh, 61 foot of fence that I needed to hang to finish out this side heavy work right there I got two or three more three more I got to bring can't put them on the tractor and drive them around like I did the rest of the fence because there's no space here but once I get them in here I can get the tractor in here well not for all of them I still gotta hang them up and then put these. Well, apparently, there's no screw right there. We'll put these set screws in with these little clamps, and that's how we're gonna hold it together. So, we've got 20 foot right here, and we just need to get it started. So, I have to grab a level. I'll grab my tractor to get the first one started at least. And I'm gonna have to probably use some kind of brick or something to set the rest of them up so they stay level.
but like I said, man, I don't know if I'll be able to lift this up, get a level, and screw it. Hold the and screw it. Really doubt it. Showing level right there, but let's see. Showing level. Showing level. Can't even feel my hands, my arms, because they're slow because I'm uh, lifting all these. And that's going to be level enough. Let's see here. This one work. This is not gonna work right here. This is a bend. I got a bend going on, and uh, yeah, I only need like 10 foot, so I might have to cut. Oh wow, we already got this one drug over here. I didn't realize that, but I don't know how we're gonna do this part. I might put a gate here just to make it easy, but yeah, these, I'm gonna have to connect one. So if you guys didn't check out my other, whatever, six parts to my uh, Seven Peaks fence, fence project, um, you're basically gonna take one end of the other side of the fences and it'll slide over this this side this top part is longer than the rest of them to help you uh line it up now this is gonna be really hard to do if i don't have a tractor lifting up on one side so it's almost a two-man job it is a two-man it should be a three-man job but it's just me guys so whatever i'm gonna do it can't limit myself right well, we got that one in somehow, went in easier. Um, this is where I have a problem now. See, this is has to go into here, but then I have this bend. <coughs> so basically, I'm wishing that this would go to this post, but it's going to be a tough bend, flex, and I don't want to put all that pressure on that post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp them. Um, I'll clamp all these down right here once it's level and I'm going to take a sawzall and cut it. I'll cut it uh, at an angle, kind of like this, and then I'll put the next 20 footer, 20 footer should fit right here. I'll flatten these bottoms out uh, where the footings are. Just kind of flatten them out, make sure we've got a nice, try to make it close to the ground. <clears throat> like that, do 
it for that one. And then that'll be cut right here. Um, and what we'll do is that 20 footer, because there should be 10 feet in between here. We kind of had this panel up just mocking it to make sure. And it should fit pretty good, flush, and uh, I'll stagger it. Just one, one rail. Um, if I have to dig down in the ground a little bit, I'll do it. So I don't have a stupid gap. <clears throat> but um, yeah, that's what we'll do right now. And then after we get those hung, that hung, get a little dip, but it's not bad. Um, I'll go through them all and, and fasten them, the rest of the pipes down on them. I'll do like every other one. And um, then we'll get to hanging this gate right here. And then that'll be that. And then what we'll do is go th we'll go through with the tractor and I'll pick up all those panels right there. I'll undo them. I'll take my T-post jack out, pull all those T-posts, and we'll have an actual fence, not this round pen panel fencing. So it'll look better. And then the tops of these, I have caps for all of them. And we can go through and throw some caps on them. Um, eventually, I was hoping to get them cut at one length and putting lighting on them um, at least every other, every few, every four or so. Put lights on them, um, just solar lights that just kind of clip over the top. And it'll kind of dress it up a little bit. Um, we could always paint it if we wanted to, put some kind of nice rust treatment on them and spray them. If I were to do that, I'd probably spray it black. I think black's good for fences. But, for now, we just gotta get this dang thing hung. This dang thing hung. And I ain't gonna lie, guys. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna be able to get these last three hung. Um, it's actually a lot of work just to pull. These, I don't know what they weigh. They're not as heavy as those big ones I drug out with a tractor, but <sighs> these six rail fences are not uh, the thick diameter pipe, but they're pretty good quality. There's some good welds on them. It's a good quality company. And I got nothing bad to say about them. They're super cool. They're very, um, the customer service is great. They're good people and good family. From what I've researched, they're just a all around good company. And they make this um, setup for average Joes like us to do it ourselves. Or I recommend having a buddy or two helping you out because it definitely would, if you got it going on, I mean, my buddies, we all have different schedules and it's family life and it's, it's hard just to get everybody on the same page. Uh, my buddy came out yesterday and helped me set these posts and helped me with the chicken coop a little bit. And, uh, you know, I've helped him out and, and it's, just, it's just nice to be able to have friends to rely on when you can. So... But I ain't gonna lie, this part was pretty tough. I had my doubts. I haven't worked on the fence in a while. Hanging an electric fence is way easier. <clears throat> but uh, we want this, we wanted to finish it out. We got one panel left. So, I mean, that's just something I can tear apart. I can use it for something else later. Um, I can chop the pipes off it and that'll give me six pipes to um, maybe weld up to the bottom portion of these so that uh, like baby ghosts can't fit through it. So, um, yeah, that's that. Let's uh, get to it. Try not to make this video too long. I got a lot of editing to do to cut out a lot of shots just to get to the point. You know what I mean? I'm not good at the editing part, guys. I don't. I know I've been making long videos. Okay, got one issue. I could do it one of two ways. I could chop it here and then push it, which I don't trust. I think it'll be off a little bit. But I'm gonna have to actually remove this T-post right here be able to push this panel in a little bit so I can push this fence panel flat to that post. My battery's wearing out and the battery's dead on the camera so I got my cell phone but I'm going to put the rest some bolts on the bottom and probably one in the middle then I'm going to go by and uh, I'll cut that off and then drag another 20 footer in here. A so, little obstacle I created for myself. Hey. Water's looking fresh. Hey, 
Anyways, this uh, automatic float water thing that you can put in your, your, your water troughs. Got it yesterday. Installed it in the goat trough today or last night just to see how it worked. But the last two or three hoses that I bought, they're supposed to be the farm hoses. They all sprung leaks. And my spigot, I think it's spigot, not spigot, right? Spigot that I need to run a hose to that part is, it's not the one I want to use. It leaks out the stem, so I need to uh, cut the water off and pull that off to replace it. I'll probably just replace it and hopefully not ruin any threads when I'm pulling it off. This house was built in 94, so I don't know how they installed them back then, but I forgot what I was going to do right now. Oh yeah, T-post puller. You guys have it. I've hand driven all my T-post in. It's a lot of work there, especially with this ground, but pulling them is even worse. So if you guys are going to be using T-posts a lot, I recommend getting yourself, I don't know what they're called. I call them a T-post jack. It's a lift. Pretty simple thing. You clamp this, put your T-post right here, use the chain, and then uh, you put it flat. You pull this. Hold on, so you got it on backwards. Pull this, like so. You put that T-post in there, and then this just lifts it out. The leverage. Pretty heavy duty one. I mean, they're all probably heavy duty. So, pretty heavy. There's a uh, Living Traditions, Living Traditions Homestead. I don't know, we follow, follow the channel a lot, um, but we watch a lot of their videos, but they have a, they do a lot of different projects, a lot of gardening, and they build fences around their garden to protect from the deer and all that. Well, they got a nice little uh, gas powered, I think. I think it's a gas powered, I think it's a gas powered, whatever it is. It's a like a T-post hammer. Looks looks a little heavy, but once you set it on top, you just push the dang button and it pop. It just hammers it right in the ground like nothing. So I need to get one of them. All right, back to the other camera. So we're gonna pull this pull this out here. This T-post. With this, uh, hopefully I can do it with this in the way. Oh, I didn't bring my wire cutters. We're gonna try it anyway. It's on backwards, but it's. So easy, but I made it look difficult. So let's try this again. I'm gonna try to make this level again. There 
go. I cut them at a little angle. Um, I want to get it corded. These sawzalls will drain your battery pretty quick. That was a full battery. I didn't get that bottom one. I'm going to have to kind of hammer at the concrete footing to get it to get some space to uh, secure that one on the bottom. It's not a big deal. It's pretty. That said, I can give me one more 20 footer to finish this out. Um, and I'll just stagger it slightly. Um, I'll have to stagger it on top because I have that all the way to the bottom. And we're probably going to have a decent gap here because <clears throat> the ground is lower. But I'm thinking I can bring my tractor up here with that bucket that loader. And create some kind of um, leveling here oh man this is rough I got them all started and that's really rough I don't know if I'll be able to get the rest of these <sighs> so I gotta put two more of these clamps on it Basically, you're using some set screws and then these clamps right here. These are compact with whatever size these are. Basically, it. 